Minnesota DFL leaders have been under pressure to take action after a chaotic scene at the Minneapolis DFL's 10th Ward Convention. And right before midnight, they did just that. Yeah, they banned Nasri Warsami from ever seeking the party's endorsement, claiming that he escalated the fighting when his challenger took the stage. CC is live in Minneapolis with more on how this unfolded. CC. Hey, good morning. So the meeting that was held to uh, make this decision, it lasted for hours, but in the end, the ban was approved. Now, uh, this ban is coming after a pair of bylaws were changed. So if you take a look, here's that chaotic video uh, that kind of sparked all this. You can see pushing, screaming, fighting. The new rules that are now in effect allow the DFL party to ban people who engage in violence from future DFL party events and they allow the DFL party to ban candidates and campaigns from seeking the DFL party's endorsement if they engage in or incite violence. So under these new rules, the DFL party can officially ban Warsami from seeking the DFL party's endorsement. We want people to know that when they enter into these halls where we're making these decisions that they'll be safe, they'll be protected, and they'll be able to support whichever candidate they choose. Now, this decision could also potentially ban Warsami and members of his campaign from the DFL altogether. Now, in the past, Warsami says he didn't um, incite this violence. We did reach out to him just a few hours ago to get a new response from him this morning after this news came out. We're still waiting for a response, though.